This problem is an application of the second fundamental theorem of calculus. So I'm going to start off with this graph of small f of x. We've we'll defined big F of x as definite integral from 0 to x of f of t dt. I want to ask four things about big F of x. I'm going to evaluate it at these four points, big F of 1, 4, 6, and 8. I want to know where big F is increasing or decreasing. I want to know where are the critical points of big F. And I want to get a rough graph of big F. So to start off, let's remind ourselves of what big F actually is. So note that this definite integral just means the area under little f of x between 0 and x. So all of these questions are going to have something to do with the area. Let's start. So for f of 1, the way I interpret this is, this is the area under f from 0 to 1. I look at my graph. I notice my graph is under the curve. So in this case, the area is going to pick up a minus sign. Okay, it's not really an area, but it's just a signed area where the sign indicates what side of the x-axis you're on. And in this case, everything is underneath the x-axis. So it's the area with a minus sign attached. Since this is a triangle, it's just one half base times height. So I get one half with a minus sign attached. So f of one is minus a half. Similarly, for f four, we just fill in more. It's completely under the x-axis, so all I need to do is take the area of the triangle and then throw in a minus sign. So we wind up with 1 half base times height, which gives me 1 half 2 times 4, which gives me 4, and I put in a minus sign, gives me a minus 4. For f of 6, same idea. I go out to 6. And so now I have one piece under the x-axis, another piece above. So the piece below we already calculated, that's minus 4. The piece above will have a positive sign on it. So we just take the area, which is again 1 half base times height. That's going to give me 4. So I add the 2. That gives me minus 4 plus 4 gives me 0. For f of 8, we keep moving out, and that's going to be the area under the entire thing. So we just need to take the full area of this triangle, and so 1 half base times height, 1 half 4 times 4 gives me 8. I add that to minus 4 for the first triangle, and then I see that I get 4. So this shows me how to evaluate my big F function at a given point. We just take area under the curve and make sure we account for signs when we go under the x-axis. Okay, where is f increasing or decreasing? To answer this, increasing and decreasing is determined by where the de derivative is either positive or negative. So in this case, second fundamental theorem of calculus tells us that the derivative of big F will be little f evaluated at x. So all I have to do is look at the graph of f, decide where it's positive, where it's negative, and then I'm done. Okay, in this case, positive or negative for f is just am I above or am I below the x-axis. So I'm going to be above the x-axis or increasing for big F when I'm between 4 and 8. I'll be decreasing when f is negative, little f is negative. So that'll happen between 0 and 4. And that tells me everything we need to know. Where are the critical points? Well, the critical points will just be where f is equal to 0. If we don't mind having one-sided limits, then we'll have f 
little f equal to 0 at 0, 4, and 8. Okay, we can um, draw the picture to figure out what kind of critical points they'll be. We really can't say much about the endpoints, but we can definitely say that at 4, I have a local minimum. Actually, it's an absolute minimum for what we have. Okay, let's sketch the graph. So, let's see what we have. For part one, I can plot some points, and that's what the big fat dots are. If I take the points from one, four, six, and eight, that gives me these last four plotted points. And just remember, f of zero, which is defined as the integral from zero to zero of anything, gives me zero. So we have f of zero is also zero. Next, I just worked out what decreasing and increasing were. So we know we decrease out to four and then start increasing as we go out to eight. I connect the dots and that's good enough for a picture.